Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Mega Man Battle Network for Red Sun. So as we last left things off, Lan was getting ready to head out to Netopia for the next tournament. But there are a couple of things I want to handle in Electopia first. First order of business, we're going to be heading down to Town Area 3, specifically the lower tier of it. And so the quickest way to get there is to go through the Castillo homepage. So we're just going to go down the ramp here, and we'll head out this way. And here we are, the lower area of Town Area 3. We need to check out this corner. And we've found Roll's hiding area on the net. Let's see here. As usual, the main thing with Roll is her speed and teleport abilities. It makes her kind of difficult to get a good hit on her. Let's see here. Start by going invisible. And that was a pretty good hit. She can summon stronger viruses now as well, so there is that to watch out for. Let's see here. Oh, if I only had Gut Soul active right now. Start going through some of these sword chips here. Hmm. Well, these would be enough to finish her off, actually. I actually wasn't aware that she could summon Billy viruses. Kinda makes me wonder if there's anything else that she can call on. But there we go. With that, we get a roll chip. I think she functions more or less like she always has. She just goes to the nearest enemy, performs roll flash, and heals you. Attacks an enemy, then heals you. I think the 20 damage she shows there is a bit of a misrepresentation. I want to say it's kind of like Vulcan, where it just does multiple hits. Let's see. Yeah, we've given Top Man a lot of screen time. We'll put Roll in for now. But with that, we're done on the net. So, time to check in with Mom real quick. Today's your big day. Don't worry about me. Go have fun. So, before we go to the airport, one quick thing at Higsby's. Welcome, huh? I finally freed up some time to restart my chip ordering system, huh? If you tell me the name of a chip you want, I can order it for you from my supplier, huh? So now we have normal stock and chip order. The way chip order works, it's the same as in Battle Network 3. So long as you have seen a chip, meaning either you've had it at some point, or you've compared libraries with somebody that has, and thus you've seen it that way, you can order it from Higsby. Sometimes you can get rarer codes this way, so it's a good way of building up program advances. If one's highlighted in green, that lets you know that it's something you do not have. At the moment, though, pretty much all the Zenny I have is spoken for. Yeah, we're going to be doing some expensive stuff. So with that, it's time to go to Den Arpert. And so, welcome to the world map. At the current point in time, we can only go to Electopia or Netopia. And so, off we go! Welcome to Netopia, where we immediately get mail. Meeting place from WNBA. Hello, this is the World Net Battle Association. Upon your arrival in Netopia, please proceed to the riverside where a local representative will meet you. He will be able to assist you until the tournament begins. Good luck! Well, may as well check it out. Uh, excuse me, are you with the Net Battle Association? Oh, you must be Lan. Yes, my name's Bonds. A pleasure to meet you, sir. I'll be escorting you to your hotel in a bit. 
It's too early to check in now, so why don't you go sightseeing around Natopia? Oh yeah, carry this with you. And we get the net passp. That's a net passport, your ticket to various countries' nets. When you're done sightseeing, come back here. Well, let's check it out. A stone statue of victory. It's badly damaged, but hasn't lost any of its majesty. But actually, it's made so you can jack into it. It's been made to look broken, but it's brand new. What do you think? Quite a mystical goddess, huh? Thanks to me, this statue lights up at night, looking even more beautiful. There's no work to do during the daytime, though. So, coming over here, we get Recover 150Z. As far as viruses... Okay, it's not so much the virus selection as just the fact that we're dealing with holy panels that's new. Hmm. Really gonna want something better to deal with that shape. Let's see if I can get rid of the Melody virus. So long as you or a virus is on a holy panel when you get attacked, it'll do half damage. Okay, so that's gone. Let's see if this will burn you enough. There we go. So that seems to be all that's in here right now. Oh dear, more viruses. Well, just a couple of you, that's not too terribly bad. All the same, I'd rather just leave if I can. Just a quick check of this corner, and yeah, we're good. So here's the hotel, but we can't get in right now. A big box. Looks like it's full of fruit. What a sweet smell. Look, something scribbled on it. Entry name, Chaw. Yay, four-letter character limits. So, yeah, we have a code for Battle Chip Challenge for a Chawed opponent. Hello there. Care to try Natopia's famous Macedonian chocolate? They're only a thousand zennies. They're scrumptious. Sure, why not? Thank you very much. Len ate the Macedonian chocolate. Squish, squish, crunch, crunch. That was delicious. The Macedonian nuts inside the chocolate were to die for. Is this worth a thousand zennies? One has to indulge oneself when overseas. I think you actually have to do that to move on. Hey, tourist. You want to try out my Wowzer box? It's great Natopia fun. You just jack in your PET to this box and Wowzers. Want to give it a try? It'll certainly be memorable. Okay, sure, why not? Now then, connect your PET to this Wowzer box and... You're all set. It's showtime. Three, two, one. Wowzer box! It's viruses. Huh. You know, if I time this right... That ought to be enough time. Enjoy a time bomb. There we go. Open it up and... Wowzers! Viruses! Natopia's famous Wowzer box. Natopian humor doesn't get any better than this. And so, Natopia is still full of jerks. Yeah, we remember how things went in Natopia when we visited in Battle Network 2. Vroom, vroom, vroom! We're the Natopian boys! Vroom, vroom, vroom! How is that? Uh, okay then? Sure. What a brilliant architectural design. And to think it was built thousands of years ago. If you throw a coin into this fountain and make a wish, they say it'll come true. This must be the famed unsung hero. It's a masterpiece of ancient history and futuristic technology. I just hope they can find some good net battlers for the Red Sun Tournament. Coming over here, we have a subchip dealer. What you got? Full energy, unlocker, locate enemy. No 
not a bad selection, but nothing we really need right now. The door in the back is locked shut. Quite an impressive structure, no? This is called the Colosseum. Gladiators used to battle here ages ago, which is why this place was chosen for the Net Battle Tournament. After thousands of years, it once again will be a stage for battle. Now that's epic! This stone statue looks like it could move any time. It's modeled on the old heroes of the Colosseum. The brilliant artwork really transfixes you. But wait, it's made so you can jack into it. It must have been made recently then. Sure, just jack into all the statues, why not? This unsung hero statue monitors the ruins. It constantly checks to see if anyone does anything bad to the ruins. The ruins are clear. The Colosseum is secure. So let's see what we have in here. Eh, the virus selection looks pretty bog standard. Getting rid of you before you become a problem. And now you. Let's see here. We get... X memory. This is a rather nice thing. Going into the Navicust, we have more of a memory map that we can deal with. Unfortunately, I don't have any more programs just yet, but when I get more, we've got more room to store them. Nice. With that, our sightseeing tour is pretty much over. Nothing else we can do, so back to Bonds with us. Hi, Lan. Did you enjoy your sightseeing trip? I bet it was cool. I'll show you to your hotel now. Follow me. Uh, Mr. Bond, sir, I don't mean to tell you your business, but wasn't the hotel up the stairs? Vroom! That car's going way too fast. Wrong two. Typo count plus one. Quick, Len, we should follow Mr. Bond. We don't want to get lost. Okay, I know. Vroom! Huh? Hey, kid. Time for you to take a nap. Huh? W what Anatopia is still terrible. Ugh. Len! Len! Len? Len! Hmm. I wonder where Len has gotten to. Oh, my head. Uh, where am I? Len, you're awake? It looks like we've been kidnapped. H kidnapped? But luckily, they forgot to take away your PET. Ah, someone's coming. <laughs> bro, I think that kid's still sleeping. With a pretty little face like that, he's gotta be rich. His family's gonna pay a big ransom, right? Huh? The door key? I broke the key data in four bits and hid it in the Netopia area. All the bits are in strong boxes, so don't worry yourself. I even prepared in case the boxes are opened. Did you hear that, Mega Man? The key to this room is hidden in Netopia area. So if we can jack in from this room, we'll be able to search for the bits of key data. Exactly. So where can we jack in from? A question that shall be answered after a quick refreshing pause. So, back in a moment.